And when it comes to babies and newborns, of course, we always say sleep is as good as gold, right? But for new parents, safe sleep can be a life-saving difference for your child, give you that peace of mind as well. Joining us this morning, Dr. Richard So of the Cleveland Clinic Children's, here to break down the new guidelines from the American Academy of Pediatrics. And um, it's been a little while since we've heard from them. And from you, well, by the way, so welcome back. Well, Good to see you again in the studio. It has been a long time. Yeah. Thank you. But we always hear, you know, it's funny, even when I had my kids 21 years ago, my mom said, no, 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 you're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do that. Because research is being done over time that shows changes, and we start seeing what is healthier for a baby, and that stuff changes. Yeah, yeah what we did back then, you know, is different than what we do now. Mm -hmm. Like back in the day, they would you say, oh, our babies sleep better on their bellies. But now mm -hmm. the recommendations are babies should sleep on their backs. Also, too, in the cribs, no bumpers, no blankets, no pillows, mm -hmm. no mesh. So that hasn't changed for no, a good 20 the, some that's, years. That's back to sleep is that program, back to sleep, put the babies on their back. Correct. But this is the latest guidelines from the American, American Academy of Pediatrics where. There's additional parts. Mm -hmm. For example, hats aren't recommended as that the baby can overheat, get too somber, might not wake up. Well, and that's interesting because I asked you during commercial break, I said, you mean hats like when they're inside, outside? You said never. Never. So ha Babies should not have hats no, on. No, they don't wear hats. They can get uh, overheated. Yeah. So you indoors. said just when they're born, maybe right when they're Correct. born in the hospital. Or if you're outdoors. That would be okay, but okay. inside, inside your own bedrooms, that's also a recommendation inside the parents' room in a separate crib or bed for at least the first six months. Okay, mm -hmm. that's yeah, good coach, to know. The coach sleeping tends to happen a lot because it's convenient uh, for people. It, there's a presumption that it, you're, you're, I can be closer, my baby could be safer, but we're very respectful that that happens, like if someone falls asleep, but what we're saying now, you can set an alarm on your phone right. that can do it, but we're just trying to prevent any accidental suffocations. And it's important the academy is still recommending that babies sleep in the bedroom with the parents in a bassinet in a separate bed for at least the first six months? Correct, correct. Also, you, you sh babies shouldn't be on a couch or on a sofa. Mm -hmm. Uh, there can be accidental entra entrapments where they could get stuck within a cushion sure. with their face down. Uh, one of the latest, too, is also you shouldn't have any weighted swaddles, weighted blankets. Uh, also, there should be an endpoint to the swaddle. Once you think your baby can roll, mm -hmm. all right, you should be out of the swaddle because if they roll over in the swaddle, they can get stuck and mm -hmm. they can ex have unexplained and advertent accidents. Mm -hmm. What is this, uh, the sleep product with a 10 degree incline? What is that? So, a lot of people are concerned about. My baby spitting up and choking. Reflex, like yes. my, ba my second had you, reflex, yeah, so we, they wanted us to incline. Yeah, her. but no more than 10 degrees is, is the current recommendation. Is that enough? Because to that? what happens if it was more than 10 degrees, the baby would roll mm -hmm. or Just slide. Yes, yeah, and oh. can, can get stuck face down. Okay. Especially How, if they're swaddled. For, sh for sure, for sure. How about important is tummy time still for babies? Is that, is that still a big thing? Oh, tummy time is very important, so you should still be doing that. Uh, two reasons. Number one, uh, you can prevent the flat spot in the head, all right? Really? Yes, because during that's one of the consequences of the back to sleep program. Right. But and number two is that when the baby's on their belly, you're, you're strengthening the back muscles so the baby mm. can push up mm -hmm. and protect themselves. Tummy time. And this obviously these recommendations not only for the safety of the baby but for the help of the parents too, because if the if the baby's sleeping well. Then the parents get some rest. Yes, we just want safe sleep. Mm -hmm. It is the bottom line. Yeah. Any new guidelines that you feel like you need to get out to parents? Because as we said, things change over the years. Um, uh, the, the weighted blankets and the weighted swaddlers, those are all marketed right now, but yeah. they're not recommended by American Academy of Pediatrics. Uh, get the baby in the crib. And again, no bump, arms. like a lot, no keep, it, keep it empty. You know, you see all this cute stuff, and people want to buy you yeah. things for the crib, but yeah, the you slats can't have on the bumpers are to keep the baby from falling on the ground, but the baby can at least breathe through that. But also to mesh, kids, I've seen fingers pull up on the mesh, and the kids get stuck in the mesh, so uh -huh. no mesh either. Okay. And if you have any questions, you know, contact your doctor and your pediatrician yeah. because that's you're the source of information for yeah, that. If there's any that. questions, call your local pediatrician. Well, also. we love what you're doing at Cleveland Clinic yeah. Children's. Always just amazing things yeah. every day, every minute. Thanks. Just taking care of the kids. Oh, well, we love that. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you, you, doctor.